Welcome back, guys. So um, today we're gonna be modeling a piping rack in Revit. So basically, we're gonna work in a single template, construction template, and we're gonna model two disciplines: obviously structural and also plumbing. So we're just gonna keep, keep it basic. And uh, yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, before I get started, I would like to ask you guys to please like, subscribe, and share. It really helps when it comes to the algorithm and it promotes the, the channel, you know, so that you can get to uh, other people who are not familiar with the channel. So uh, make sure you join the membership if you are interested in much more advanced tutorials and also much more interesting tutorials. And yeah, I uh, think without further ado, let's start with our project. So like I said, we're going to use the construction template and we're going to open up a new project. And I'm just going to uncheck this and I'm just going to extend these views and templates. So we are working in level zero at the moment, but we're going to add an extra level. So I'm just going to offset this by 35,000 millimeters on the south. So after this, just select those views and uh, elevations and extend their view, uh, extend their views so that you can see the entire project from all sides. And after that, we're gonna establish our grids. So I'm gonna pick up grids, start, start from this point, I'm gonna place this grid. And this one, I'm just gonna go with pick lines, set the offset to 5,000 millimeters, and I'm just gonna place seven of them. So the seventh is the sixth and seventh one. So I'm just gonna extend them. So in order for you to do that, you select one, unlock it, and then you're just gonna extend it beyond. Do the same thing with this one, unlock it, and then you're gonna extend it like this. So after this, you're gonna place another grid. So I'm gonna place, uh, actually I have to place the other two like this. So I'm gonna place another one like that. And then I'm gonna offset another one by 5,000 like this. So let me just uh, reduce these ones. So this one, I'm gonna go with grids, pick lines again, and insert my offset to 5,000 millimeters, and then I'm gonna place other ones uh, like this until the top. So let me just say undo. So we're gonna have the top one like this. And um, actually, let's place uh, two more. So I'm gonna set the offset to 5,000. I'm gonna place two more, 13, 14. So 13, I'm gonna unlock it and then extend it beyond. 14 as well, I'm gonna unlock it and then extend it beyond. So I'm gonna select my grid again, place another one like this. So this one, I'm gonna have to set the offset to 5,000 again. And I'm just gonna copy it for this moment. So I'm gonna copy it by 5,000. And then this one, this one until we reach uh, 21. So in total, we have 21 grids set up like this. Okay, so after this, I'm just gonna go to Insert, Load Family, Metric Library. So I'm gonna go with Structural Foundations and I'm gonna go with Pad Foundation Rectangular and say Open. So the one I'm gonna go with is 1,005 by 1,005 by, let's go with 1,000 and say Okay. All right, so after this, I'm gonna go to Structure uh, under foundation, I'm going to go with isolated and go with add grids. And then I'm going to select all of my grids and then it's going to detect where the grids are intersecting. And I'm going to say finish and then it's going to automatically place uh, those pad foundations based on where the grids intersect. So at the moment, we cannot see them. So you can select on your keyboard, you're going to type in VR for view range and set all of them to unlimited. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna press VR and then the bottom offset, I'm gonna set it to minus 1,500. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with a view depth, minus 1,500, apply and say, okay, now you can see them. Go to the 3D view, this is what we have so far. So what you're gonna do is select your levels, right click, maximize 3D extend, do the same thing for the other one, maximize 3D extend. All right, before we go any further, let's add another level when it comes to this. So I'm gonna select this one, I'm gonna reduce it and make it 
2005, and then I'm going to copy another one further by 2500. As you can see, it's grayed out, so which means it's not in our browser organization. So in order for you to make it blue like this, you're gonna to go to views, uh, plan views floor, and then you're gonna say, okay, and then it's gonna be added right there. So uh, in this instance, I'm not gonna add the structure of floor plans, it's fine. So after this, I'm gonna go back to my level zero and go to structure. Under structure, I'm gonna go with columns and then make sure you set your constraints to height and then this to the last level, which is level two. And then you're gonna go with head grids and then you're gonna select all of your grids. And then it's gonna place them like this and say finish. So when you go to the 3D view, this is what it looks like so far. Okay, so after this, you're gonna go to, um, you're gonna open up level one. So on level one, you're gonna go with beam and then in this instance, you're gonna go with add grids again. You're gonna select all your grids and say finish. And then after you say finish, it's gonna automatically place them like this. Okay, now the next thing, we have, we have to add some uh, diagonal beams. So in order for you to do that, go back to level one, select your grid, uh, select your beam again, and you're gonna start from this point and then place it on this point. Okay, so after this, I'm gonna set my VR Press VR on your keyboard, set your bottom to minus 1005, do the same thing for your view depth, minus 1005, apply and then OK. Now you can select your beam. So after you select this one, you can mirror it like this and then it's going to be mirrored like that. So after this, you're going to select the two of them and just going to copy them to the other uh, segments. Like that, and then we're gonna copy it further. This go, and then we're gonna copy it further to the right, like that. Okay, so after this, you're gonna go to the 3D view and you're gonna select all of these, go to filter, check none, and then you're gonna check on your structural framings and Yes, your structural framings and say OK. And then you're going to say copy to clipboard. You're going to drop down the paste option and say align to selected levels. And then you're going to press level two and say OK. And then it's going to place it like that. OK, so after this, just set this to realistic. And this is how it looks so far. All right, so now it's time to add our piping. And in order for you to see, all of the elements, just make sure you set your discipline to coordination so that you can see all the disciplines. Okay, so after this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to level one. This is where we're gonna place our pipes and I'm gonna set this to coordination. And after this, I'm just gonna go to inset, load family, and then I'm gonna go to metric library. And then I'm gonna go with um, pipe, where are my pipes, where are my pipes, pipe. I'm going to go with fittings and then the one I'm going to go with is cast iron and then couplings and then I'm just going to add all of them. So I'm going to load in all of them. So it's going to load in all of them and after this I'm going to go to systems and I'm going to go with under plumbing and piping I'm going to select my pipes. Okay, before I do that, let's just add a reference plane. Just to use as a reference, I'm gonna add it like this, and I'm just gonna offset it from that point by 2.0, no, 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 by 1.5. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this as my reference, and then go to under plumbing and piping, I'm gonna select my pipes. And before I place it, I'm just gonna set the diameter to 600. Set my metal elevation to, let's set it to 304.8 millimeters. And then I'm going to go to edit type, routing preferences. I'm going to say edit. This is to configure how uh, to configure how the pipes join. Basically, you have to add the types of couplings for each category. So we have the elbow. I'm just gonna go with the basics ones. So I'm gonna go with bend plane and then the preferred 
to a junction tab. I'm going to add D is fine. The junction, I'm going to add this one. Add this one for the cross, transition, this one. The union, I'm going to add the first one. The flange you don't have, and then the cap, I'm going to add this one and say, and the minimum sizes, I'm going to go with 15, and then it's going to automatically add the maximum one. Do the same thing for the other ones. Until the last one, this one doesn't have, so I'm going to say OK, apply, and then OK. So I'm going to start from this point, take it towards this point, and by, so I'm going to make it 30,500. And then I'm going to take it to the top. Uh, so the length of this one is going to be 25,500. And then I'm going to bring it back like this. Okay, so this one, I want to offset it. So I'm just going to measure from this point to what's this grid. So this one, I'm going to offset it by 1,005. Obviously, just for consistency sake. And also this one, let me measure it from that to the grid. And this one is going to be 1,005, and just move, remove this dimension. Okay, so when you go to the 3D view, this is basically how it looks. When you go to the south elevation, set this to fine so that the level of detail becomes clear. And this is basically how it looks. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to place a reference plane uh, side where it starts. So I'm going to offset it from there by, let's say, 4,000, actually by 3,000 millimeters. And then I'm just going to bring the pipe like this. And um, I'm going to go to systems again, where is my systems, pipe again, and then I'm going to join it from this point and bring it down by 5.5. And then it's going to automatically join like that. So this is what we have. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to place a reference plane, vertical one, and then I'm going to offset it from the grid by 3,000 millimeters. So I'm going to reduce this one in this instance, go to pipe again, select this insertion point, bring it down by 5,500 millimeters. So when I go to the drain view, I hover over the pipe tab so that I can select the entire pipe along with the, the, the fittings. I'm going to go back to level one and then uh, it seems like we cannot copy it. Okay, actually we can. So I'm going to copy it, then offset it by, say, 2,000. But what I'm going to do is, obviously, let me manually adjust this one, and then I'm just going to add a dimension from this point to that point. So I'm going to adjust the offset and make it 1.5. And so uh, this one, I'm going to make it... Okay. Five and then this one, let's see. Okay, it's 1.5. Perfect. All right, so this is basically what we have. We are essentially done. So uh, the power of turning, uh, turning off and on different disciplines is to show you which uh, you know disciplines are you basically working with. So if you go with structure, uh, the pipe. If you go with like uh, plumbing, uh, the structural elements will be grayed out like this, will be half toned uh, instead, and it will show you uh, the pipes you are basically working with. So if I go back to uh, coordination, it's going to uh, revert back to its original uh, graphics. So yeah, this, is, uh, this was a short tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. If you like, it helps with the algorithm. Make sure you join my membership if you're interested in much more advanced tutorials and much more interesting tutorials. And thank you for your support. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.